Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the motion sketch and auto orient features in After Effects. So to get started we're going to go down to After Effects and we're going to be going to uh, our composition window and clicking on layer, new, solid and we're just going to make a new solid any color comp size. Click OK and basically we're, basically we're going to be using this as a shape so I'm just going to make it into a kind of um, vertical rectangle and just put it down into the bottom corner. So what Motion Sketch, um, which is the first thing we're going to be talking about, what that does is it basically allows you to take and draw a path in After Effects and animate your shape along it. So um, in traditional animation within After Effects, you would actually have to set keyframes and rotation and position and things like that um, automatically, like you'd basically set those where you want it to move. Um, but this will automatically generate those for you as you kind of move your mouse around in the path that you want it to follow. So, in order to get to the motion sketch window, you go up to window and then down to motion sketch, and I already have mine open down here. And so this is what the panel will look like. You have capture speed, um, smoothing, you have show, and you have start duration and start capture. So I'm just going to set this back to one because that's probably how it'll look for you on the smoothing. And I'm just going to show you um, straight out how this works. So we're just going to click start capture, and then we're just going to make sure our cursor's at the beginning there, and then just take and drag along a path wherever you want your object to go. So you can see it's made a bunch of keyframes. If we take and toggle down our little arrow on our blue solid there, and toggle down transform, you can see all of the different points that it made. And so if we take and move this along, if we click on it, you can see it's following all those points, and it moves in that same path that we just moved our mouse. So this can be very good for doing quick animation, um, or if you want to take the time to refine these keyframes, you can take any of these keyframes and pretty much just move them around, um, and you can actually refine them how you would like. Um, so if you want a little bit more fine-tuned um, animation on there, what you can do is I'm just going to take and delete these keyframes out, and we can start over here put that down there, move this to the beginning. Now what these other settings do are basically you have capture speed at 100%. So we're capturing at real time basically. So if you have a really precise, um, say you're doing like some kind of spiral effect to your shape, um, you're probably going to want to take your time when you're moving your mouse around. So you're going to want to move slower so you're not capturing it real time. You'd put it on something like um, half time or a fourth of the time. So you'd up this um, number depending on how slow um, you're actually moving your mouse. Or you can just um, adjust the keyframes later, but this kind of gives you the chance to do that right away. Now within smoothing, um, this is definitely something I'd recommend using. You saw how there were a ton of different keyframes. Um, if you want to cut the keyframes down to having um, like more distinct keyframes rather than just a bunch of them, um, basically having it at one smoothing will give you the most accurate representation of how your mouse moved. But if you take and put it up at something like 10, which I would recommend, and then you do start capture, it will take and it'll kind of make some key keyframes. And you can see that now we have, instead of like 30 keyframes or something, we have like, well, there was probably more than that. Um, we have some distinct, uh, just a few keyframes, and so it's much easier to tweak your animation later on. So that's basically how Motion Sketch works. It's really good for mocking up animation, and um, you can actually use it for some pretty um, nice stuff as well, so just for animating position around. So now that we have our path going right now, it kind of looks like we've made a windy road. So the second thing I'm going to be showing you how to do is auto-orient your shape. And what I mean by this is, say that we imagine our blue shape as a car, and we want it to be going along this windy road. Um, from like a top down like a bird's eye view perspective. Now when it gets to this curve it would be probably rotated and be going around and would rotate as it's following around here. Now um, to do this without um, the After Effects feature I'm going to show you, you'd basically have to be rotating it periodically along here and setting keyframes and it would take a while. Um, so what I'm going to show you here is if you just, I'm just going to close that for simplicity, is if you click on your layer then go up to layer and down to transform then go down to auto orient and then click orient along a path, which is what we have already created with our motion sketch. Just click OK. And basically it will take and move your shape along the path and it will orient it depending on how your, sh your path moves. So now if we want it to look like a car, we'll just kind of fix it on the very beginning position so that it's kind of pointing towards where it's going to be driving. 
and now you can see that it auto orients to that path. So this can be really helpful. Um, I just thought I should bring that up because we already had a curving path that we made with our motion sketch. Um, so it's definitely a nice tip so you don't have to uh, manually add in those rotation keyframes. So I hope you guys learned something in today's tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and check back next week for a new video tutorial. Thanks for watching.